Welcome back, guys, and thanks for taking a little time to spend a little time with me. Of course, guys, I told you I'll be doing more blogs and things like that. Well, vlogs, I guess you would say. You know, just do something a little different, man. You know, sometimes step away from the video game world and, you know, talk about some real situations. And today, guys, I just got a question. You know, this is a real question, and I hope it sparks conversation. But I just want to know, you know, what is it about Donald Trump that you're supporting and i'm speaking to those who are supporting donald trump because obviously he has supporters you know regardless of race you know he has supporters on you know all, all different types of you know people are supporting him you know as well as there's a lot of people who are not but my question is what about donald trump are you supporting for the president of the united states that's a very valid question and the reason why I ask that is if we look at who Donald Trump is and who he has been through our lifetime, the guy, you know, those of us who have seen him, you know, since we've been here on this earth, what about him makes you want to get behind him to be your president? Now, of course, I know, you know, some people are going to say, oh, well, you know, what is it about Obama and what is it about George Bush and what is it about Bill Clinton? I'm not going down that road. I'm not going down the whole Obama road. None of that. It's not what I'm asking. I just want to know as a individual and seeing this guy's lifestyle, you know, this billion dollar man and, you know, this guy who who's done very well in business. You know, he you know, he did a lot of things to get where he needs to be. You know, he was smart enough. And yes, I say smart enough because a lot of business people have done this. He's gone through bankruptcy several times to get where he needs to be. Very savvy businessman. But I'm talking about being, you know, the leader of a country what is it about Donald Trump that people are latching on to you know I'm not really following a lot of what he is saying but you know he turned me off very early you know with the divide of people and things like that listen regardless of why people are here in this country and what have you I'm not even looking at that you know I know it goes a little deeper than than the surface but I'm just looking at the root of what he is saying he's basically promoting segregation it is what it is i mean whether people are here illegally or what have you and you know trying to make a better life for themselves the fact that you want to actually build a wall and you're bold enough to say that to come out and say this is what i'm trying to do keep them people over there we'll keep these people over here if he's going to do that to one section or one particular group of people what makes you think he wouldn't do that with another group of people I'm just keeping it 100. You know, that that's just how I look at that. Like, wow, you know, you're just ready to just come out and say that. And the way, you know, his his attitude and his approach, even in these debates, I'm looking at this stuff and it's almost like a, it's, a, it's buffoonery. You know, it's crazy. I mean, looking at what's going on in the United States right now, as far as the political front, it, it's, it's pretty embarrassing. I mean, you mean to tell me this is the best we have? Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, which Bernie Sanders makes some good points. I understand that. But like I said, the, the point of this video is not for me to give my opinion on who I like in the race. You know, Bernie Sanders makes some good points. I'm sure there's some things that people don't agree with. But the truth of the matter is he's a little old. You know, he's a little, you know, old as far as being a president. He's a little older. He does seem to be in good health. But Y'all, y'all know that. Y'all, you understand that role. Everybody said the same thing about McCain when he ran. You know, I'm not sure that people really want to see an older gentleman like that become the president. So you're really looking at Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and you can find things about both of them that really don't make you feel that confident. I mean, let's be honest. You know, I'm all for equal opportunity and all of that, but you know, are we ready for a female president? And I'm not talking about just from a sex standpoint. I'm just talking about perception and all of these things. When you're dealing with other countries and, you know, the who's looked at as the power and all of that. I mean, are we ready to be the first company to take that? I mean, company. Are we ready to be the first country to take that leap? I mean, like I said, I have no problem with equality and all of that, man and woman. I don't, you know, I, I'm not one of those people that feel like women should stay in their place. I feel like whoever's capable should be able to do whatever they want to do. I'm just saying, on that front, as a leader of a country, you know, are we ready for that? that that's a real question. I don't know. You no, know, Hillary also has said some shaky things. So it's like, 
I don't know. But the point I'm trying to make is this is the best we have. Where are the other Democrats and Republicans that ran before who would have probably been a better choice? I mean, whether you like Mitt Romney or not, I would think Mitt Romney would probably be a better choice than Donald Trump. I I'm just saying, if that's who you wanted to rock with back then, any of these dudes, or what's the other guys, like Rick Santorin, I think his name is, any of those people, if you were a Republican supporter, seems like to me some of those guys would have been better than Donald Trump. I just don't, I don't get it. Same thing with the Democratic side. I feel like this, if you are a politician that ever wanted to be a president, this was your time. You got Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are your biggest competitors. You mean to tell me there's nobody else out there from either party or independent that feels like they have a chance against these guys and lady? Come on, man. I, I don't get it. That's why I said it. it's just, it's like a mockery, man. Like this whole thing is just crazy. It's just crazy when you look at it from that standpoint as these are the folks who have the best chance because all the other people running really ain't even come on Ben Carson come on they're not even <laughs> relevant they're not even I don't know I mean one would have think that about Donald Trump I remember when everybody was saying oh that ain't going nowhere and then look what's happening my man is winning he's winning these polls so it's very interesting, man, to see what's going to happen when it gets closer to actual election. But again, the question is, what is it about Donald Trump that you're supporting? I really want to know. I really want to know. And I'm pretty sure the comments in this video is going to get kind of crazy. So I'm sure there's some I probably will ignore because some of you people don't know how to have grown up dialogue. You know, some people always want to take it here and take it there and get negative and you know, bash each other and call each other names and race comes up. I know that's gonna happen, but I'm really just talking to the people. I'm being very serious. People who are supporting Donald Trump, I haven't really followed his movement. You know, the little bit I've heard from him, I'm not feeling. So I wanna know what is it about Donald Trump that people are latching on to and they feel comfortable with this guy potentially being the president of the United States. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Definitely leave your thoughts and leave your comments. And I promise you, it won't hurt you to hit that like button. All right, guys, until next time, let me know what you think. Once again, guys, thanks for coming by. And if you want to interact with me live, head on over to Sim Standard Radio every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, along with Smitty and Azure Effect. The call-in number for the show is down in the description. Now, of course, for more content, go ahead and click the link above. And before you go, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, lights out.